So let's take a look at some holes on the second side. So on the second operation, uh, we've got some holes and I want to kind of uh, pull those out of the solid model to figure out what they are and then actually turn those into toolpaths. So for this, I'm going to use model prep, the find holes command is very quick and easy. Just say find all the holes and group them into a single operation where possible. And then it goes through and says, okay, 38 holes were detected. Very quick and easy. Now, here's the thing. We're going to use a toolpath, a brand new toolpath called process hole that's going to take that solid definition directly and it's going to create the toolpath from it. But those tool definitions, those tool recognition, uh, I'm sorry, the hole recognition, isn't necessarily the exact perfect one. So if I was to go and say process hole on these guys, you'll see that it goes ahead and grabs them and drills them, but it drills them upside down. Because there's no way from a 3D model to know which way is up. No problem. What you can do is go cancel that, go into your solids tab, and go find that hole de definition. And this is just as if you had cut it yourself. That de hole definition is there, and you can edit the parameters, and you can do things like flip the direction, right? One simple click the button to reverse that hole, and now it's drilling from the top. If the customer gave you a size, a drill size they want, and it's like half a thou off of a, a round drill size, you set your diameter to the actual drill size you're drilling it at, not the magical number that they want. You can even add top and bottom edge treatment. So in this case, if I go and add edge treatment, Right? Maybe they specified, you know, chamfer all these corners, but then they didn't actually do the chamfer in the 3D model. By modifying the feature and setting that treatment to the print, right, now you have a 3D model you can accurately machine to, save you a ton of time.